to go uh, lots of people are there looking for people who are looking for relationships a lot of guys who are on there looking for sex uh, right a lot of scammers a lot of predators but also a lot of people looking for relationships you like the top hey guys what do you think these glasses or these glasses These are actually like a little bit pink. So tortoise or pink? Do your glasses help with the blue light of mobile phones? It's supposed to. Supposedly, that's what they're supposed to do. Is they're supposed to protect your eyes from the lights coming off of your devices. See the first pair again. So the tortoise or the pink with this top. Ooh, what are we doing? First glasses, tortoise, uh, pink. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got mixed results here. We got mixed results. Hello, this is Erin. I'm currently reading your book, Fix House Shit, and so far I love it. Thank you, pink all the way. Oh, we got two pinks. Pink, all right, we're going pink. We are going pink today. Ooh, ooh la la. So, welcome my loves, welcome, welcome. Do we have any newbies here? <laughs> Do we have any newbies? Do we have any new people? Say newbie here. Uh, first, oh, I'm a pink fanatic, cute. First, been good so far. Zadi, follow the host, thank you. Hello, welcome. Do, 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 do. Just got back with an ex. He's deeply in love, but I just lost feelings. I don't want to break his heart. Why did you go back, my love? Um, if you want help with that, if you want to see if maybe, uh, you know, some perspective will change things for you, do come get a coaching session. You never know, perspective is everything, and perspective can change everything. Never underestimate the power of perspective. Hello, lovely. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday. Uh, who's having a happy hangover day? Because it was the 4th of July this weekend. Ooh, 4th of July happening on a weekend too and everything. Happy hangover day. I need a coaching session. My relationship is bizarre. Come get your coaching session. Go, go to my bio, click on the link tree, click on that coaching button. Follow the three steps to book yourself in for a session. <clears throat> Hello, my loves. Who wants a notification when I go live? Um, I'm Lucy Gilsey on the times will do. Yes. How bizarre, right? Licking dogs. What's bizarre mean? Uh, what do you think about dating two people? Nothing official. Uh, my suggestion is you absolutely should be talking to more than one person at a time. You should be using a no kissing, no sex, no sleepovers for three months dating rule to keep yourself from being confused about who you should be choosing for a partner. Oh, how bizarre, how bizarre, how bizarre, how bizarre. You're welcome, lovely. Hello, love loves, hello, hello, lovelies. How are you? Happy Monday, your earrings look very pretty, thank you. Uh, I'm doing really well, I spent the whole morning uh, crafting an email uh, for my mailing list on MailChimp, the whole morning. Uh, which is probably the reason why I really um, uh, <laughs> neglect my mailing list. 
because it just it takes me so long to create an email for my mailing list you know uh, there's things I'd rather do there's things I'd rather do I'd rather I'd rather talk directly to you guys I'd rather make TikToks. I'd rather reply to comments um, I'd rather plan this 12 week uh, alignment program that we're doing in August uh, so but yeah spend the morning making that email uh got her done got her done who who is interested in uh doing a complete overhaul over 12 weeks like when i say this is an alignment program this is alignment like aligning your physical health um aligning your energy aligning your mental health um aligning your ability to be in control of your own emotions aligning your dating life aligning your relationships aligning yourself if you're picking up on your passion, uh, aligning yourself down your passion. This 12 weeks is going to be incredible. It's, oh, thank you, my love. It's going to be incredible. I've been seeing this guy for four years. No commitment yet. He's poor with communication. Four years. Love your outfit today. Thank you. Uh, sign me up. So here's what we're going to do for 12 weeks, you guys. I have a fitness and nutrition expert working with us for the 12 weeks, starting us from zero to hero. Uh, seriously, like I literally have done nothing but go for walks periodically for the last several, like forever, right? Since I started writing books, guys, I haven't done anything regular in terms of exercise. I'm almost 50. I need this. I need this. I need to make my body stronger because I'm almost 50. This is the point where you start to lose muscle mass and you need that muscle strength to keep your bones healthy. So we are starting basically from zero. You guys are coming in with me. We're doing this together. So every week we're doing two workouts with my fitness expert. We're doing one cooking show with my fitness expert. She's also a nutrition expert. Um, so two workouts, one cooking show. We're going to do a fireside chat, me, you, and a guest, or me and you bring a special topic. I've got guests lined up from occupational therapists to fucking pole champions, um, like the whole variety. We're going to have a lot of different topics popping up during those 12 weeks every single week. I'm also doing a soul session. We're going to do guided meditations, manifestation work, intention setting, aligning you with your goals and getting you manifesting and creating your goals. In addition to that, there are seven workshops that you can jump in on that's included in your membership price. So there's a dating workshop, relationship workshop, sexy boudoir dancing workshop, if you wanna do some sexy moves for your partner. Uh, there's a launching a business workshop, there's a marketing your business workshop, there's a writing a book workshop, publishing your book workshop. You can jump into every single one of these that's included in your package, plus I'm gonna give you three coaching sessions one a month, um, all included in the price. On July 19th, I'm cutting the price in half for 24 hours. You have a 24 hour window to get this for half price. If you guys want to do that, go into my bio, click on the link tree, click that first link, it says 12 week alignment program, add your email to the mailing list so that you can get access to that, um, that 24 hour window where you can get it for half price. I am. I don't know how to help him. He doesn't want to book a session. What's the price of the program? Uh, so with the half off, if you get it on that half off on July 19th, it's 1320 for the whole tour for the whole 12 weeks, and that's including access to all the workshops I'm gonna be doing during that time, including three coaching sessions. You speak about everything good, good, good. I'm just reading your comments, you guys. Dating 101, dating 101, love your glasses, thank you. Speaking to me. Th 
Thank you, lovelies. It keeps jumping it on me, so it's hard for me to find where the beginning is. Uh, I have that healthy relationship. We're both happy, but he has some kind of depression. I don't know how to help him. He doesn't want to book a session. What does it mean when they tell you, I'm just remaining open until I'm settled? It means they don't want to start a relationship with you. Like, you're fun, I'm having fun, I like this fun, it's so much fun to be having fun with you, but you're not the one I want to have a relationship with. I've been seeing this guy for four years, no commitment, poor communication, don't know why you're doing that to yourself, my love. Don't know why you're getting in your own way when it comes to having a relationship. Don't know why you keep giving yourself to somebody who doesn't want a relationship you're very convenient and he really enjoys that but he's not starting a relationship with you so it's time for you to move on definitely need an overhaul that's what this 12 week is all about this this is all about um aligning you with a healthy body a healthy mind and your purpose and your manifestations Lots of comments. Oh, I love your book, Comeback Queen. Uh, can you pick which workshop? Yes, individually, or do you have to pay? Yes. Yeah, so when, so I'm also like the the workshops are going to be independent of the twelve week program. But when you sign up for the 12 week program, you can get into the workshops for free. I'm including that in your program price. The workshop prices are 149 for each of the workshops. So if you just wanna do the workshops, you don't wanna do the program, you're, you can get into the workshops for $149 each. Always wanna visit Canada, it's lovely. Uh, do 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 do. Just curious. Never been to Canada. What's it? What's the time? I right now we are, um, two o'clock. My partner packs up every so often, goes to his dad's after a major fight. What do I do? Uh, stop fighting, right? So that's a symptom of the conflict. If you remove the conflict, you, you'll no longer have those symptoms. So if you grab, fix that shit, you can put, a, you can put an end to the fighting. Had a bad breakup, I'm slowly healing. Uh, is it normal that I'm not interested in dating? I'm right. No, it's totally fine. Uh, I left a three year abusive relationship. I wasn't interested in getting into another relationship for a good year after that. Queen is ready to party. Hello, Miss Honey. Uh, whenever I bring an issue to my partner, he shrugs it off as being sensitive or says it's not true. Is he gaslighting you? Are you with a selfish short-term thinker? If you don't know if he's a selfish short-term thinker or a generous long-term thinker, do grab no more assholes. Look at the 12 character traits in there or come get an assessment if you want to understand uh, how to navigate this. You can come get a coaching session. I can do an assessment for you and then give you a plan on what it is you should be doing next. Uh, if you want to get a coaching session to better understand this, the coaching button is in the link tree in my bio. Uh, do you believe that if you want, if they wanted to, they would? It all depends, right? Like, uh, my husband, would he like to spend more time with me? Yeah, he would. Can he? No, he's got a business to run. So I can't say if he wanted to, he would. He needs to prioritize his business. Uh, if, you know, if I wanted to, I would. My dad wants me to go visit them in Florida in the winter. Um, be nice. It would be nice, but I really want to focus on work. 
Uh, what are the brands of the glasses? I don't, I really don't remember the brand name. I don't remember the brand name and it's not, it's not written on the glasses, but they're, they're blue blocking glasses on Amazon. How do you deal with an emotionally unavailable partner? He always consistently stonewalls and ignores. Uh, if he's a generous long-term thinker who loves you, I would suggest getting into fix that shit and doing what's in that book. Um, because what you will do when you follow this is create emotional security in the relationship. When a man feels emotionally secure, he is more communicative. Um, the stonewalling and the ignoring, you're going to have conflict resolution tools that are going to help you bring up things that you want to talk about without there being defensiveness. So stonewalling and ignoring is I don't want to hear what you have to say because I don't like what you're saying. You're going to learn better communication tools with this. Loving the glasses. Thank you. What should I do if I want to get back with my ex, but he's blocked me? You respect him. What should I say to a guy who says to me, hey, my ex blocked me because she's still hurt over what happened. What am I supposed to say to him? Am I supposed to tell him to go knock on her door? To go harass her? Uh-uh. Somebody blocks you, it means leave it alone. You need to leave it alone. Ex doesn't understand we need space after a breakup. How can I put it nicely? If they're not getting it, you need to be firm, not nice. You need to say, you have to stop calling and texting me. If you don't, I will need to block you. How do I comprehend the info, all the info that's in your books? Which ones have you read? Life is too short to never stop working. Actually, um, that's that's an interesting thing, thing to say. Life is too short to never stop working. Um, so I listen to CBC and they do interviews with all kinds of people. And one of the people that they talked to was a 92 year old opera singer. And one of the questions, because I mean, she's like all there, right? And one of the questions was, how do you do it? How are you just so still young? And she said, the key is to never stop working. But always work at something you love, right? So the key is to never stop working at something that you love. Uh, what's the best way to take all the info that's in your books without feeling overwhelmed? The chapters are very short and easy. Maybe read one chapter a day and apply that one chapter a day. Can narcissistic behavior change? I'm not going to answer that because you want me to help you play the hoping game. You want some reason to hope that person is going to change. Love your outfits. How do you regain trust? Uh, only through consistency of changed behavior. The best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. So the longer your behavior is on point, then the longer they can anticipate you're not going to re revert back to the behavior that made them lose trust for you. I'm brilliant, but take breaks too. Yes, I do that. Looking beautiful in gold. Thank you. Uh, me and my girlfriend broke up. She's in a new relationship two weeks later. What does that mean? It means the relationship was over before it was over and she had already moved on by the time you guys broke up. So the breakup was the formality to acknowledging what was happening inside her mind and emotions. Separated for a year. I'm back with him. And uh, Guys, do uh, proofread what you send me. Sometimes it just doesn't really make sense. My girlfriend, my problem is I don't have a girlfriend. What do I do? I got a book for you, my love. Uh, go to Amazon, go get the perfect play. 
This is the book that's going to help you find a woman, a generous long-term thinker for a girlfriend. You're a beautiful sister. Thank you. Once a cheater, always a cheater. That's not true. It's like saying, um, you know, uh, let me see. Uh, I don't know what it's like saying, but no, it's, it's not. A serial cheater, don't trust them, but some people do make mistakes. Good, mo good afternoon, yes. Uh, my boyfriend went out with friends, said he didn't think to look at his phone to update me. Thoughts? Yeah. So, like, when your friends go out without you, do they have to update you? Do they do they have to keep thinking about you and going, oh, oh, I got a message, Cindy, it's been an hour and a half. Do they have to do that? Like if peop if other people that you know go out without you, do they need to keep updating you about where they are, where they're going, what they're doing? Um, you know, if not, why are you treating your partner that way? Why, this is a parent-child relationship. This is a parent-child relationship. Hey, if you go out without me, I need check-ins. And I need to know if you're moving from one place to another, you better message me. Like that's a parent child relationship. That is not a peer peer relationship. You don't demand that of your friends if they go do things without you. He said he would update me. That's so did he do that because you asked for it? Did he do that because you asked for it? And if he's if he said that because he thought you might want it, it's okay that he didn't. All right? It's okay it's okay that he didn't. Is does he do shady things? Is he not a trustworthy person? Did you pick somebody who isn't trustworthy? What is M-A-F-S? Uh, very good point. I feel like I mother my husband too much. Yes, don't do that, you, you guys. It's okay. It's okay for you guys to go out and go do things and not have to check in with your partner all the time. It's okay. Oh, married at first sight. And it's okay for your partner to not be obligated to check in with you all the time. What do you think of a partner that loses his temper and says unkind things in anger? Goodbye, motherfucker. I'm not going to be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't control their feelings and their behaviors. Hell no. If you can't control yourself, you don't belong in my vicinity, period, period. Uh, and that goes for blood, by the way. I've had to cut my mom off because she doesn't control herself. She says mean things and then I go, that's not okay. And she says, I don't know what I said. I'm like, so that means you're not safe around me because you don't control yourself. You can't control your behaviors. That means I'm not safe in your presence because you don't control yourself because you don't, you don't even know what you're doing. You're out of control. So that's what the story is. We can't be around each other, period because I won't put myself in harm's way by putting myself in the vicinity of somebody who says, I can't control myself. I don't know what I do. And by the way, she's situational. So that's a bullshit line because she's not out of control with other people. She's only out of control around me. I, I'm, my mom is, is not going to improve her behavior until she changes what she's doing. If she's not going to start meditating, nothing is going to change. How often should you see your partner if you're just dating for over a year? Uh, there's, it's all about um, negotiations. It's all about what uh, you guys are able and want to do. Uh, hard to cut off blood and especially mom, it's not easy. Uh, listen, the hardest thing I've ever done in my life was break up with my mom. I had my husband telling me to stop talking to her. I had my dad telling me to stop talking to her for years, for years. And I couldn't stop giving her chances. 
until multiple times of her telling me, all caps, fuck off, you're dead to me, stop talking to me. And I went, you know what? Okay. Okay. And I, and I decided to. I decided that was it. My husband still talks to her because I can't fully give up on her. But my bottom line is uh, we're not going to talk again unless we're doing the Dr. Phil show. So I had to cut my dad off because he was toxic and using me financially. It Yeah, it has to be done sometimes. It does. Is there a book specific for married couples? Yes, my love, it's uh, Fix That Shit. This is a book that helps you get to zero fighting in your relationship if you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you. Is custom made good for codependency? Yes, it is, absolutely. How do you know if you're having it or if they are playing you? If you are codependent, it's 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 all in you if you're a codependent. Um, so why the Dr. Phil show? Because I know they're gonna send her for like the full testing, like her, her blood work, her MRI scans, uh, psychiatric evaluations, and then align her with what she needs with whatever her mental disorder is. Um, so if you get upset, if your partner doesn't spend every spare minute with you, that's codependency. If you don't have a passion outside your relationship, if your relationship is your passion, is your purpose, that's codependency. I will book you recommend for someone newly single. Uh, so no more assholes if you're a woman and the perfect play if you're a man. Um, would you really go on Dr. Phil? I wrote them. I wrote, yeah, absolutely. I wrote them a letter and they contacted me and they're like, can you guys come? And uh, I, I, my, I got my, my husband to call my mom and say, you know, look, uh, we got an opportunity here for you and Chantal to get things straight by going on the Dr. Phil show. And she said no. So then I had the producers call her and she said no to the producer. But, uh, you know, as, as the moment she says yes, I'm contacting the producer and I'm getting it done. But it, it, unless she wants to do that, I'm not going to talk to her again because I've tried everything and I, I need I need to stop. I need to stop trying. I need to stop hoping and I need to understand that this is how it is and it's not going to change until she wants to change it. Uh, would we be able to watch Dr. Phil on YouTube? I don't know if they put whole episodes on YouTube. Uh, when's the last time you talked to her? It was uh, it was around Christmas time, not this last Christmas, but I think the Christmas before. How do I balance? Uh, guys, does anybody want me to do a book walkthrough, give a brief descri description about what each of my books are about? How do I balance? Being an extrovert and my boyfriend is an introvert. We love each other, but our views clash. So if if your partner doing things with you um, is a fundamental value, like, like I'm going to be miserable if my partner doesn't want to do things with me. Like a fundamental value is I want to get married. I'm going to be miserable if I choose a partner who doesn't want to get married. I want to have kids. I'm going to be miserable if I choose a partner who doesn't want to have kids, right? So if your partner being an extrovert and coming out with you is a fundamental value, you have chosen a mismatch and it is your responsibility to choose a partner who matches your fundamental values. If you being an extrovert and going places is a value and it's okay if your partner doesn't match your value, then you accept your differences. I'm a liberal, he's a, he's a conservative. We accept each other's differences. So I do more social things than my husband does. It means I show up to social events 95% of the time. Literally 5% of the time, my husband will come with me to a party, a dinner, um, but 95% of the time he doesn't go, I go solo. So go solo, go do things with your friends. If you have the kind of partner who doesn't want you going out with your friends, dump them on the fuck up. Just because he wants to stay home doesn't mean you have to stay home. I go out when I want with who I want and stay out for as long as I want to. And do you know why? Because my partner's not my parent. My partner is my peer. I don't answer to him. We are individuals living our lives and loving and supporting each other. If you don't have that in your relationship, you are in the wrong relationship. But go do your thing. Stop trying to force your partner to be a fish out of water. If he doesn't want to go, that's okay. Go do your things. Go have fun. 
Yes, please, book walk through. Yes, lots of yeses for the book walk through. Let's do it. Okay, so Come Back Queen is the book that's going to help you get over a breakup, put your heart back together. No More Assholes is going to help you choose your next partner. Make sure the next one is the right one, uh, not somebody shitty again. Uh, men, your version for this is the perfect play. After the first kiss, ladies, is going to help you transition from courtship phase to reality phase without going into an insecurity phase. Because you understand the changes that are going to take place as you transition from an inefficient stage of your relationship building to a more efficient stage of building a life together. Then you're going to grab Fix That Shit. This is a book that helps eliminate all the fighting in your relationship. I know what I'm talking about. My husband and I fought for 10 years. We haven't had a single fight in five years. If you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you, this works like a charm. Uh, custom made goes really well, fix that shit. If you're a codependent in your relationship, this one helps you understand how to relationship properly. This one answers two questions. What is my purpose and my passion and how can I monetize it? Um, letting you have balance, right? You need to have a purpose outside of your relationship. Your relationship cannot be your purpose. Dating one-on-one, uh, understand the drives, behaviors, and emotions behind love. This is a textbook. Um, parents get this for your teenagers. This is the book that I wrote to help teens not need no more assholes and fix that shit one day. Fake love need not apply. How to avoid posers, losers, scammers, and predators. This is a free ebook in the link tree in my bio. Say yes to goodness. 10 steps to a complete and happy you. How to be happy both inside and outside of your relationships very important perspective is everything so i give you all the perspective you need to have a healthy happy life and then y'all are going to join me on that 12-week program that i'm doing and you're going to get your fitness aligned your nutrition aligned you are going to uh you're going to take some workshops and uh get some free coaching sessions and uh you know have some fun with my special guests Got both those books. Awesome. Have separation anxiety with my ex. He wants to be close. I am just so confused. If you want to get a coaching session, I can help you clarify that. Do you have a package deal for all the books? I don't. Lovely. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. They're up on Amazon, guys. By the way, you can get my books on Amazon or anywhere you buy books online. Um, if you want an audiobook, Fix That Shit is now an audiobook. You can get it exclusively through the link tree in my bio. Ah, oh, skin, I have separa separation anxiety if my dog isn't around. I know, right? I miss my babies too when I go out. My mom is involving me with her and my dad's divorce. You need to say to her, mom, you cannot talk to me about this stuff. Your marriage to my father is none of my business. It is absolutely wrong for you to talk to me about my dad. And it would be absolutely wrong for my dad to talk to me about my mother. This is between the two of you. I have nothing to do with it. I don't want to hear anything about it. You cannot talk to me about this stuff at all. My dog doesn't have separation anxiety for me. Oh, no. I love that your chapters are short, straight and to the point. Yes. Yeah. My, my, my chapters are so short and sweet, you guys. But very filled with information. I think I overpressure my boyfriend about the progress of our relationship. Olivia. And I heard him. How can I fix this? Uh, I'm not sure unless you do a coaching session, lovely. I need to fix that shit. I'm still struggling two years after a six month separation. Mm. Yes, fix that shit. If you guys are together and he's a generous long term thinker who loves you, doing what's in this book is definitely going to help my love.
I'm hung up on a girl that my boyfriend cheated on me with. How can I let go when all is over over? And it's a process, right? You're saying, how can I change how I think? How can I change my my mind, uh, my emotions? You know, that's it's a process. It's it's not a quickie answer. Um, you can try doing what's in fix that shit. It is designed to help you calm your emotions, be present in the moment and let go of resentment. If uh, you're not self-motivated enough to do what's in this book to the letter, then I would suggest coming and getting a coaching session to um, have me, you know, basically get in your head and help give you that inner dialogue that you need to be practicing in order to be shifting your thoughts. Boyfriend doesn't seem like he's trying in our relationship and only seems focused on online girls. That doesn't seem healthy. Doesn't seem like the kind of relationship you should want to be in. Does any of your advice come from faith or a secular standpoint? It all comes from science. Uh, how can I book an online session with you? Yeah, so all my sessions are on Zoom, by the way. It doesn't matter where in the world you guys are. Um, oh, I just ordered your book, that's awesome. Uh, if so if you want to get a coaching session go to my bio click on the link tree click that coaching button it takes you to a page read that carefully and follow the instructions to book yourself in for a session Love it. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Who wants a notification? I do, okay, so here's what you're gonna do, lovelies. Click my picture up here once or twice, you're gonna get a pop-up, and the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell. When you do that, say, I just did. The three-month rule is a good way to gauge respect and motives, absolutely 100%, 100%. Don't blindly go into a relationship and play the hoping game. I hope he respects me. I hope he's here for the right reason. I hope he's going to want a relationship. I hope he's the right person with the right character. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. We're getting too smart for that. We don't play hoping games anymore. We don't play hoping games anymore. Do you know who really likes the hoping games? Selfish short-term thinkers. Love the hoping game. Love it. Love it. Selfish short-term thinkers love it when we're dumb because they take advantage of us. I did. Welcome, I did. Ladies, my single ladies, are we going to let anybody take advantage of us anymore? My boyfriend said he only wanted to spend his birthday with me and didn't want to drink and party. I have a feeling there's a follow-up to that. Nope, nope. Look at all my smart ladies. Look at all my smarties. Uh, so I planned a whole evening and now he's saying he wants to drink with his girlfriends. Oh girl, what are you doing? What are you? So he's inconsistent. Um, he's inconsistent and he's ditching you for other girls. It sounds like a selfish short term thinker to me. Not anymore. I love that. No, I'm tired of it. After four years, I need to work on rewiring my brain oh come take my 12-week program my ex-boyfriend should be your poster boy about who not to date and selfish short-term thinkers hello love yeah 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 i think i think a bunch of us have poster boys for that i think a bunch of us have oh this is a perfect example yeah Single and not ready to mingle, you have every right to choose that. Every right. I 
Oh, my therapist liked a lot of what you said on your website and TikTok about boundaries and respect. Thank you. You think therapy's good? Come get a coaching session. Uh, selfish short-term thinkers are a huge problem. It seems like there are so many. Of course there are. Of course there are. Do you know why? It works for them. Do you know why they think it works for them? We keep having sex with them. When we get too smart for that, they're going to start changing their ways. Uh, what if you're married to a selfish short-term thinker? You can't change people. Do you want to be with a generous long-term thinker? Then you need to be with someone else. You need to set that standard. You need, you need to say to him, I love you, but I'm not going to be with a selfish short-term thinker anymore. I need to be with a generous long-term thinker. Also, grab no more assholes so you actually know what that definition is. There's 12 character traits that help you define if they are a selfish short-term thinker versus a generous long-term thinker. Maybe looking forward to the book that will consider more books and courses or sessions. Yes. He says he, he's always close with exes. I just don't know if I'm okay with it because I miss him. I love him. Come get coaching if you want some help clarifying what you should do, love. Uh, how to break it off with a platonic relationship of four years. Um, you know, this is why you're great. This is why it's not working. This is why you'll be great with someone else. Just bought three of your books. Love, love, love. It's amazing. I can't wait for you to read them. Oh, my readers, my readers. Uh, do go leave reviews on Amazon, please, 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 for the books that you read. If you don't want to leave words, leaving stars, super, super important. Um, is there anyone who's going to go leave an Amazon review? Boyfriend is a long-term thinker. Can it be too much sometimes, like waiting? Uh, it depends. It depends. Some things you definitely need to be patient for. Um, you know, my, my husband's kids were eight, and nine. I will. Ooh, I love that. Love that. Yes. Thank you, my love. Bought on Indigo. We'll leave a review. You can, you can still go leave a review on Amazon, even though you got it on Indigo. Um, you can just go find it on Amazon. If you've done enough purchases on Amazon, you can go leave reviews. It just doesn't say confirmed purchase um beside the review but it still counts it still matters uh so yeah so when i got with my husband his kids were eight and nine um and uh he won he didn't he didn't want to you know upset their households right by bringing in another person so i said you know what i respect that i respect how you want to parent but when your youngest is 18 it's my turn and that's when we're going to move in together and that was 10 years down the road and i was willing to wait 10 years to give him the space he wanted to parent the way he wanted to and i i, I gave him my timeline you know taking in consideration what was important to him and what was important to me i i said when your youngest is 18 that's when we find a way to live together and it happened before that um now leave reviews on Amazon. Love it. Love it. Uh, right. So sometimes, you know, yeah, like a, when it comes to a generous long term thinker, you also have to be a generous long term thinker. What's your favorite question to ask to see if he might be a generous long term thinker? Uh, so honestly, the no kissing for three months dating rule is one of the first indicators. If he says, no, I can't wait three months for first kiss, selfish short-term thinker. We know we got your number. Okay, motherfucker, keep walking. A generous long-term thinker has patience, is intentional, has goals. So if you say I'm looking for a committed long-term relationship and I'm waiting three months to kiss somebody because I want to know them better, generous long-term thinkers look at you and say, damn girl, you're speaking my language because I don't want to get in a relationship with a stranger and get fucked over. I'm willing to plan things for the long-term 
and do the process that it takes to make that thing unfold. How do I not be codependent? You need to have a purpose and a passion outside of your relationship. So there's two books for you. There's Fix That Shit and Custom Made. Fix That Shit helps you understand how to be a healthy partner within your relationship. You need to. You need to control your own emotions. You need to control your behaviors. You need to not depend on your partner for all of your emotional well-being. But you also need to have a focus outside the relationship because if your only focus is your relationship, you are codependent. So grab custom made to be able to have a focus outside your relationship by understanding what your purpose and passion is and then start monetizing it. So this book answers two questions. Custom made, what's my purpose and passion and how can I make money from it? You have amazing clothes. I know my colors. <laughs> Thank you, love. Uh, what if I don't want to wait three months? You can do what you want to do, my love. This advice is free. It's worth every penny you pay for it. If you want to do nothing with this advice, you've lost nothing. And if you get in a relationship with a stranger and you get messed up because he cheated on you, uh, he was financially responsible and he was, he was a financial abuser. If he was verbally abusive, mentally abusive, emotionally abusive, and you stayed with it month after month, year after year, and that fucks you up, that's your choice, your decision. It has no impact on me. Um, you absolutely have every right to do everything you want to do. I'm here to help people who are like, you know what? I'm done fucking up. How, what are the behaviors I need to do in order to have a different outcome? If you're not one of those people, that's okay. Do you, my love? Um, I just, I love helping people and I love them coming back and, and telling me how great things are because they've done things differently and had a better result. But you don't have to wait three months for first kiss. I did several times. So I got to know my husband very well before I kissed him. Bonus on him. Uh, a couple of times we broke up. I dated other people. I used that no kissing for three months dating rule. I never ended up kissing those other people. My husband won me back. I am in the happiest relationship I've ever been in my entire life. He's 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 incredible. He's incredible. Um, all because I used to no kissing for three months dating rule. Can I do the three month rule with my boyfriend of three years? No, this is for strangers. I don't know you. I just met you. I'm not gonna fall for you before knowing who you are and understanding if you're gonna fuck me over or not. I feel like I'm the one, only one trying to work on the relationship. He won't meet me halfway. If you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you, I suggest reading Fix That Shit because there may be some change of perspective that's necessary. Um, if you don't know, grab No More Assholes, look at the 12 character traits and see if he is a selfish short-term thinker or a generous long-term thinker. Or you can streamline that, that whole procedure and just come straight to a coaching session, get an assessment and a plan for how you should proceed. Yes, love that answer. You're welcome. Do -do 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 -do. Did you see my comment thanking you? No, do you want to repost it, love? Can you repost? I see, I love the ants. Or was that you? No, different person. Good advice. Thank you. Uh, is it possible to book a coaching session with you? Yes. Go to my bio, click on the link tree, click the coaching button. It takes you to a page. Read what's on that page and follow the instructions to book yourself in for a session. How to be less insecure in a long distance relationship. I do have a free guide for you to download. It's in the link tree in my bio. Go give that a, a download because it's got lots of tips in there to help you with your long distance relationship. I 
my Yuba Fix That Shit is amazing. I feel so calm and secure in my own self. Love this, love this, love this. I love that. I love that. I hear that a lot and it makes me happy every single time. Every single time. This is my oxygen. Your growth, evolution, happiness, comfort, security. Absolutely my oxygen. I live, I live off of it. So happy. Uh, sounds like it's familiar. We stick to what we know is familiar, yes. Any coupon codes for a coaching session first time? No, my love, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's worth every penny. One of the things that uh, I say a lot is I would make uh, I would make a lot more money if I was less efficient. That's the beauty of coaching, uh, especially coaching with me, especially coaching with me. Um, just like I, like I just I do it my way. I do it my way, and it's just it's so efficient. Um, in one session, you gain understanding, and you gain tools for moving forward with what you want to change. Um, me and my boyfriend are going to separate therapy sessions. How long until we should do couples? Uh, are you, you're not doing it with me, my love. Um, Alyssa, you're not, I don't think you're doing that with me. Um, so the, are you both going to the same practitioner? Because that person is the one who's going to tell you when they feel the two of you should come together as a couple. I just thought I would ask. Yes, of course. You know, you you always have to ask, right? Always have to ask. You never know. Could you share a coaching session with permission uh, of the person? So um, one of the things that I do want to do when I'm doing that 12-week program is give away... Uh, an additional coaching session as long as a person agrees that we conduct the coaching session on a Zoom live with the other members uh, observing. My babies. You hear Maggie outside. Ooh, it's nice and warm today. I think today we're... Oh, is it Wednesday? It's gonna. What's 29, high 30. Right, right, right. Hmm. Guess what, guys? All you can eat sushi is open on Wednesday. It's open on Wednesday. I can't wait. You can bring anyone, even your fish. Uh, could you, yeah, exactly, exactly. Your coaching session is is yours to do with as you choose. You can come alone. You can bring your partner. You can bring your fish. I love the heat. I wish I lived in a volcano. That's super cute. Uh, Alberta is finally normal weather. No more super hot days like last week. Yes, good, good, good. I know a lot of people were. So miserable with that. Mm -hmm. Well, love loves, uh, I'm gonna go take a little break. Um, if you guys want a notification for when I come back live, click my picture here once or twice, you're gonna get a pop-up in the pop-up as a bell. Click on the bell when you do that, say I just did. Uh, do go into the link to my bio if you're interested in that 12-week alignment program. Uh, go give your email on that so that I can, um, I can, you know, send you that information for getting it at half price. Um, if you want a coaching session, go click that coaching button and read the instructions there to book yourself in for a session. 
Uh, there's links to my podcast and YouTube channel in the link to my bio. Free stuff, free book, free meditation guide, free long distance guide. Go follow me on Instagram because I am giving away a coaching session every month there. And the next one is coming up very soon. So do start watching up for that. And I'm going to be back soon, you guys. I'm going to be back soon. Just going to do a little bit of work and then I'll be popping back in.